Hello friends, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I am Susan Clifton. I am a Pompano Beach artist that's in Florida and I'm here in my Baca studio. And today we're going to talk about making reusable stencils or any kind of stencil really with a Cricut. And we're gonna start with Procreate. We're gonna bring it into Adobe Illustrator to make an SVG. And then we'll bring it into the Cricut design space to make our um, stencil. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna bring you over to my computer and we'll get started. Okay, so here's my blank canvas. It is half, of, half as wide as it is long. That way for my Cricut mat, which is, I think it's four and a half by 12, it'll fit within there. I'm gonna probably stay within this center area anyway, but we will definitely be able to cut a, a uh, reusable stencil. I am using syrup. It's in the inking and I am using black. So let me make sure I'm seeing the whole canvas. So there's a couple of little rough spots that I'm going to clean up with an eraser. I'm going to go a little smaller with my eraser so I can really clean it up nicely. So this is my favorite one that I did earlier this morning and I am just going to touch it up a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to export this. One more, one more spot I want to clean up. All right, so I'm going to export this. I'm going to go to the, the little um, wrench over here and I'm going to I'm select the chair and I'm going to try I'm going to do a JPEG and try to airdrop this. Um, okay, here it is. Here's my computer. And I'm done. Okay, so I'm here on Adobe Illustrator and I am going to open my Circles 2 JPEG that I exported from Procreate. I'm going to click on the image I just opened and I'm going to click on the down arrow next to image trace and I'm going to select black and white logo. Okay, now I'm going to click expand. So now you could see we have a vector document. Now if I go into layers, I want to create a layer below this one and I'm just going to draw a box so that you can see what I'm doing here so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. So now I'm going to choose the direct selection tool. I'm going to go back to layer one and I'm going to click on the background, the white background and I'm going to delete. And then I'm going to select, I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select all of my circles or all my background white images that I don't want. And I'm going to delete them all. Okay, so now I don't need this layer anymore. I'm going to delete that too. Because that was just to show you what I was doing. So now what I have here is just what I want in terms of my temp, my my stencil. 
So I'm gonna, just to neaten this up a little bit, I'm gonna change my artboard. And I'm gonna resave this as vector circles. And then I'm gonna select SVG. And I'm also gonna save that to the desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to, I have this clear film, this craft plastic. I am going to sort of line it up on my mat and I'm going to cut it to about five inches so that each one of these squares is an inch. One, two, three, four, five. Take my mat. Now this is a standard grip mat and I'm just going to burnish it down with my hand. Make sure there's no bubbles. And now we're ready to move to the Cricut. So now I'm in my Cricut design space and I'm going to click on canvas to start a new layout board. Up, hit upload. I'm going to upload my image from my desktop. And it's the SVG I'm looking for. And I'm going to hit upload. Okay, so here, here's my image now. I can click on it and add to canvas. So my mat is four and a half by 12. So this will be, this will fit in there nicely. Bring it down probably a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna click make it. So I'm saying on mat because I am using the Cricut mat, not a smart material. This is the Cricut Joy. Okay, so here we go. Here's, I'm gonna kind of center it in there. As you can see, I could have made it a lot longer. Next time I, I think I'll make my Procreate canvas even narrower, um, maybe work in inches so I'm not guessing. And uh, okay, so now, once I have it positioned, I can click continue. And I've already selected this, it's called plastic foil acetate. But if you go into browse materials and you scroll down, and just, you'll see, look for the purple color. And here it is. So this is the material that you're gonna select. I'm gonna select it here. Now the pressure has to be set to more. Okay. Now I have to load my machine. Okay, so now that my mat has been loaded, along with, I already had the fine point blade in there, so now it's click go.
Okay, I'm now going to hit unload. And now we just have to click finish. So I'm very, very happy with the way my stencil came out. This is a reusable stencil, but we could have also done something with Smart Vinyl. Maybe we'll do that next time. So if you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.